Welcome back to Innovators, and with me is William Santana Lee, the CEO of Nightscope. How are you? Good to be Great back. Great to see you again. Good to be back here at NASDAQ. Uh, yes, and um, such an interesting company. So those who aren't familiar with Nightscope, kind of give us a, what, what the company does, then we'll talk a little further. We have this that. slightly ambitious goal to see if we can make the United States of America the safest country in the world. Mm. Uh, using a crazy combination of self-driving technology, kind of like a self-driving car, uh, robotics and artificial intelligence. So we've got uh, a whole portfolio of auto fully autonomous security robots that are patrolling uh, nationwide to give our two million law enforcement and security professionals mm -hmm. really smart eyes and ears for them to do their jobs much more effectively. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I ever told you this story, but when you were here a couple of years ago and yeah. you brought one of the robots, and you know, we're right here in Times Square where all weirdness happens, <laughs> And the robot was out in front of the NASDAQ. Oh, yeah. And people were like, there's a robot here. Like, people will walk we by. We get that everywhere. Everything's strange, but that robot got so much attention. We get so many robot selfies. We've got machines <laughs> with lipstick on them. <laughs> Families will drive like four hours with their kids just to take a picture you with the robot. The robots, yeah. yeah, we're operating now in uh, I think 15 states. Uh, we just got our first contract in Puerto Rico, so we're going to be heading uh, over there soon. So that'll be five time zones. Okay, so the robots really kind of supplement security and law enforcement. No, no, right? no. The robots are here to kill everyone and take everyone's job. Yes. Right? Is that the right well, media if talking I can point? Sleep a little bit. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, again, these uh, machines are rather large. Uh, the most popular outdoor model is the K5. Uh, it's five foot tall, 400 pounds, and it roams around on corporate campuses, malls, hospitals, anywhere indoors or outdoors you might see a security guard. It's fair game. Yeah. Uh, and it's intended to do two things. One is to provide a physical deterrence. So if I put a marked law enforcement vehicle in front of your home or your office, criminal behavior changes, right? Most of these folks are just trying to get away uh, with something and looking for the path of least resistance. Uh, if you pull up into a hospital parking lot at 2 o'clock in the morning and there's this humongous machine roaming around on its own with the strobe lights going, it says security on it, yeah. like you're probably going to steal the car down the street, not there. Right. Uh, and so we've seen a lot of success there. Uh, the machines also generate 90 terabytes of data a year mm -hmm. that no human would be ever, ever be able to process or understand. Um, so we put that into a user a friendly format for the guards and the law enforcement professionals to be able to use that data um, and understand what's happening. And so we've got 360 degree eye level uh, HD video. Uh, we can run a thermal scan of the environment. We can read 1200 license plates a minute. We can detect any mobile device in the area. We're about to add uh, facial recognition and a bunch more things. So long term you want to see these machines be able to see, feel, hear and smell and do the computationally heavy stuff that no human could do and also provide that physical deterrence 24-7, fully autonomous. Yeah, I remember you were telling me that these machines can detect if somebody has like more than one cell phone on them, which might be kind of an indication that or, or just here in Times Square, why did that mobile device not move in the last 17 hours? Did someone lose their phone or something much more nefarious? I see. Or a vehicle. A vehicle uh, yeah. doesn't move over yeah. a long period of time. It can yeah. detect that. So then what happens? If, they, if the machine detects something unusual, then what's the next step? Uh, it goes to the security professional, and now on their mobile phone or their tablet or on their desktop, uh, they get a notification or an email or a text or a phone call, depending on the severity of things. Okay. Uh, and again, they give them really... Uh, smart eyes and ears for them to cover a lot more ground. Mm -hmm. uh, where I, the math kind of doesn't work for our country, uh, so crime has a trillion dollar negative economic impact on mm. the U.S. every single year. I believe year. it, yeah. It's a hidden tax we all pay in blood, tears, yeah. and treasure, uh, and every time someone uh, shoots up uh, a synagogue, a mall, or school, like, tell me, who, who gets fired? Yeah. No, no one. No one's like, no actually one. accountable, okay. Okay. right? Okay. Um, and our politicians on both sides of the aisle stand up and say what? Uh, we extend our thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Well, that's not going to actually fix the problem. Um, so the, to date, we've had over a dozen crime-fighting wins. We've helped a law enforcement agency issue an arrest warrant for a sexual predator. We helped another uh, law enforcement agency apprehend an armed gunman. Uh, we helped a security guard apprehend a thief, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, and we know the technology uh, is now working, and which is what makes us kind of really excited. Yeah. Right. So you mentioned 90 terabytes a year. So um, that allows them to go back, say, six months and go, okay, well, go back and search for data or if there's something suspicious or right. they need to find evidence We can do the investigations to help with forensics, uh, analytics of like, hey, that trend is not normal. We have a lot of people coming in at this mm. stage and then it dropped or the, the other way. Okay. Or why is that car parked there for 26 hours okay. that's not allowed here? 
Um, so yeah, there's okay. a lot of opportunities. One of the things that we're pretty excited about uh, later this year is working on schools. Mm -hmm. So think of it as the opposite of a data center. Um, what if we were to able to know that uh, only the faculty only the parents and only the students are allowed at this facility. Mm -hmm. If you're not on the list, mm. then the alert goes out for, for the yeah. guards to, to be and able to. And the Nightscope machine can tell that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fascinating. Um, so what's next for Nightscope? Uh, we're about to uh, release our fourth generation machine. So we've now operated more than 600,000 hours in the real world with real customers. Uh, what I think is fascinating is uh, over uh, $80 billion has been invested in self-driving technology, self-driving cars. Did you arrive today in a self-driving car? No. No. A human drove yeah, me. So $80 billion <laughs> went into uh, a sector over the last couple of years. There's more than 50 companies working on it. Uh, I believe that Nightscope is the only company in the world literally operating 24-7, 365, fully autonomous without any human intervention. So that's been a little bit of a technical feat. Uh, now that we've got a lot of experience, uh, we're releasing our, our new fourth generation K5 uh, to our clients, which we're uh, kind of really excited about. Yeah. Take all those lessons learned. We've probably forgotten more in our building than most people know how to do this yeah. uh, and put that into an all new product. Well, it's fascinating technology and really kind of the future. Yeah. Of, you know, a lot of things. And we've gotten yeah. a lot of support. We've uh, now we're the company's backed by over 6,000 investors. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this day and age, you can actually uh, buy shares directly online. Uh, so if uh, someone's interested, they literally be a force for good uh, and go on to nightscope.com okay. and actually buy so shares directly So they can find out more about the company yep. or buy shares yep. if they want to be an investor. Yep. Nightscope.com. Yep. We're actually a semi-public company. It's a little uh, unique. We report to the SEC every six months as if we're publicly traded, but the, uh, the stock is not yet on an exchange. Uh, hopefully after we get through this next financing, we'll be contemplating that. Okay. Well, that'll be great to see you bringing the opening bell. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. So, yeah. gonna thank be fun. you so much for coming. Uh, thanks and for having us. us Absolutely. Nightscope. And thank you as well. We'll be right back.